Hi, this is Dave at SEOVB.com. Today we're going to go over a few of the vBulletin configuration options to make your vBulletin form run faster. In our last video we showed you how to install vBulletin and in this one we're going to go over a few of the configuration options. Log into your vBulletin forms and locate the admin link at the bottom of the forms. This will take you to your admin CP panel which will look something similar to this. Next, over on the left, click the vBulletin options drop down and then vBulletin options. We're going to just go over a few of the options, but for all intents and purposes, just hit show all settings and we're going to set them all at once. <clears throat> you can turn your vBulletin on and off right here. Right now we have ours off, so we set it to no and we put something better than the standard message. And then we're working on things right now. For the site name, URL, contact details, you put something descriptive, and for your forum name, so the search engine bots know what it's about, as well as the visitors. Your homepage name appears on the bottom of the forums, and you can either set this to your forum name or anything custom you want. The forum URL is the location that you've installed your forums, and your homepage URL is where the homepage name links to. The contact us link should be sent sendmessage.php and it uses the built-in vbulletin form. However, you can simply enter your email address here in the form of mail to your email address, such as that. We prefer to leave it at sendmessage.php to use the built-in default vbulletin message. The contact us options are what options will be shown at the contact us form. You can see these options right here. Site feedback, registration, test this, yada yada yada. The webmaster email address is where all the email addresses come from when sending to your members and where all the email goes to when members use the contact us form. The privacy statement, the copyright text, the company name, the company fax, and the company address are all optional should only be entered if you feel you need to enter this information. Your meta keywords and your meta descriptions should be something descriptive so the search engine bots know what page is about that they're visiting. Use the form jump menu. We recommend to leave this to off to reduce the amount of HTML. Number of pages in the navigators, three is a good number to start with. We like to leave the, the form access, access masks on for additional permissions and we only turn additional name and HTML comments on if we're designing our own skin. Use the login strike system should be set to yes to prevent brute force attacks on the admin CP and from protect users accounts from being brute forced. <clears throat> the enable forum leaders uh, is a listing of your important user groups. This will help members know who to contact in case a problem arises. The thread forum red marking type should be database so that way the database knows what forum threads have been read for each user. The database read marking limit should be set to something similar to 10 or even 7 and then any thread that's not read within 7 days will be set to red and the users will not have to worry about them. You should enable all Ajax features to help reduce page loads and server load and to make your forum more functional. Enable inline moderation authentication will require your moderators and administrators to log in before performing any action. This is good in case you accidentally leave your computer on at a public location and someone comes by and wants to destroy it. Those are all the settings we're going to go over in this video. Check back for our next video and we're going to go over some more settings like image settings, human verification, date and time options, and your cookies and HTTP header options.